Ooh, of the smoke. Dominate choke. Ice, ice. My bro. What's good, my nieces and nephews of Homie Game? <laughs> Yo, Funko is back again with another video today, and look, 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 look. <clears throat> this was a requested video by one of my loyal supporters in the comments. You feel me? I always like to respond and give my commenters what y'all what what they want. You feel me? Because the commenters. I love my commenters you feel me i'm hollywood over here like i know how it is being a, a commenter in one of your favorite youtube channels chats i mean uh videos and they don't respond or they don't you feel me or they say they're gonna do something and they don't do it this commenter had requested me to give him the top three comp stage best center builds on nba 2k24 now look in the top three best beginner builds i gave y'all beginner center builds i basically gave y'all the comp center builds in that you feel me video for the you know what i'm saying but this is an updated this is going to be an updated just for like my strictly my comp stage players my players that wanted to get into the comp stage scene the comp 3v3 pro-am scene and just like just the regular or if you want to play with a comp lineup in a park and just go back to back winning games with the absolute best center build for the park comp stage regular stage and 3v3 pro -Am. i i'm not going to give you all in the beginner Top three begin uh, center builds I gave y'all for beginners. I gave y'all a rack build and then I gave y'all two center, like six eight center builds. <clears throat> this one just two comp stage six eight builds that are the best in the game that almost everybody uses. All right, like I going into season uh what's it called season four we're about to go into I think I will be giving y'all a lot more content dribble uh, tutorials dribble moves and all that. Y'all been asking for my dribble moves for a lot of my uh, six five and six six ISO lockdowns. I see y'all comments and I'm like, bro, the new season's about to start in like two, three days. So I don't want to give y'all my six for this season right now. And then the new season come out and there's way better six. All right. So y'all be, uh, stay tuned for that. Leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment down below. If you love your mama, subscribe if you're new. And like I said, leave a comment of any type of video you want me to see. If you want a certain build, y'all want to see me make, or you all want to see me just demonstrate. Cause I have hella builds. I have over 20 builds. I even have some of my cloud and some of my xbox because I, I got an xbox account too with like five builds on me. just let me know all right appreciate it lovers when y'all it's time to get into the top two best center builds for for my comp stage centers let's get into it all right y'all we are in the builder now we are in the builder for all my shooting builds no matter if it's a center lockdown guard i like to go left-handed i like shooting with left-handed builds i've been shooting on left-handed builds since 2k21 and I just got used to it. So like I'm I just never went back. Like I can't even shoot on right-handed no more. Because I used to hop on accounts to accounts and most people had left-handed builds. And I was like, bro, okay, I might as well get used to playing on left hand. It doesn't even look right playing a right hand build. But jersey number, we went with jersey number two. Because God is first, everything else is second in my life. You gotta keep God in your life or whatever you believe in, in your life. That's how you're gonna make it, bro. Believe in something, even if it's yourself. Believe in yourself and you're gonna make it. All right. Uh, you want to go power forward and you want to go 6-8. You feel me? Most comp stage or most park centers, 3v3 prime centers, they're all going to go 6-8. Now, if you're playing the rec, you feel me? You don't want to be a, in the power forward position 6-8 if you're going to be playing center. You don't want to do that because these seven foot centers will bully your little ass. All right. That's why I said if you want a, a rec pro, comp pro am center, go to my top three best uh, center builds for beginners. And I gave it to you in there. All right, this is just strictly for my 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 centers that be playing stage, three v three pro am comp stage or 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 park. All right, you want to go height six eight. You feel me? Two hundred and fifty two pounds. Two hundred and fifty two pounds and a seven four wingspan. I know you're like, why not max wingspan? I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, not why not max wingspan? We're gonna get into the 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 the, the shooting first. We went with an eighty seven overall mid range. 87 overall mid range <clears throat> and an 80 overall three pointer. And why you might say we went with an 87 overall mid range? All right. Traditionally, most comp stage centers have no mid range on their build. Okay. They traditionally go like this. Most comp stage centers have this on their build 78 3, 63 mid range. 
but what i came to realize is a lot of y'all getting new into the comp scene are not elite enough to like just i'm not even trying to say y'all bad but it's just y'all aren't comfortable enough yet to shoot with a 78 overall three point three pointer all right and there's not really that many jump shots you can use with a 78 overall three pointer all right so like for my new players getting into the comp, comp scene i would say go with the 83 pointer lowest 79 because then you can get the ben shepherd jump shot ben shepherd base that's what i use on mine oscar robertson release sadiq bay uh second release 60 40 all right uh, 60 40 as in 60 off star robinson 40 sadiq bay all right max speed all right for me i wanted to help y'all out go you can either go with a 79 3 or 80 70 uh, 79 to 83 your green one those boosted like five or ten percent i'd have to check 2k labs or 2k toots again for that all right most traditional centers go 78 3 62 mid 62 uh 63 midi and you don't get that many shooting badges all right with with going with an 83 pointer you don't really get that many shooting badges as well but when you go with the the the, the midi the 87 midi look you get that catch and shoot on gold much needed because you're going to be playing popper you're going to be popping for your your guard popping in the corner slip pop and all that you're going to be doing that you're going to have to shoot the ball sometimes or if your guard's box and he passes it to you you're going to have to make something happen with the ball okay and this 87 mid-range why so high of a mid-range because a lot of people just go with the 82 mid-range for the catch and shoot and then the guard up and sh and all that but we went with an 87 mid-range for one specific reason the tracy mcgrady jump shot okay the tracy mcgrady base jump shot is super op you can hit super contested shots and it's the biggest green window jump shot in nba 2k 24 all right y'all see two tack and all these players shooting contested shots they're using tracy mcgrady base even miami uh tmb he's tough with his jumper he uses tracy mcgrady all right and for tracy mcgrady a lot of people don't realize this you need either an 87 mid-range or you need a, either an 87 three-pointer you need one or the other to get tracy mcgrady jump shot base all right, and my Tracy McGrady jump shot is Tracy McGrady, Oscar Robertson. You can use Sadiq Bay. I like Sadiq Bay too for like a lot of my jumpers, especially my big man builds. 60 40. Tracy McGrady, Oscar Robertson, Sadiq Bay, 60 40. All right, four and max speed. Use push visual cue if you're on the center. All right, but yes, mid range. This is going to make my play, my, my, my centers that are playing center, because a lot of y'all have been saying it's hard to shoot. This is going to help y'all shoot way better. Okay gonna help y'all shoot way better and your middies is gonna be there you're gonna have midi magician so if you get happy to get pulled into the midi you're gonna be able to knock down the midis fairly all right now um let's go into the physicals so y'all can see all the badges we get with this build as i put them on go 98 stamina that's all you're gonna really need actually we're gonna start off with 95 because most centers only really need 95 stem i mean 95 yeah 95 stem but if we have if we have extra badge points we'll put it we'll put it on there 95 stem 80 overall vert stam is not going to really matter for you all you're going to be doing is really you're not going to be really dribbling you're just going to be really playing off ball or running up and down the court and you really don't need stam for that stam is really ties into you dribbling all right you're going to be fine on the center with a 95 stam okay because regardless of what it is the biggest you, the bigger you are the faster you're going to lose stamina even if you have 99 stam like my 66 guard 300 pound guard my 66 300 pound guard loses stamina so quick because he's like 300 pounds but he has 99 stem and it doesn't make sense it just it, it, it your weight really matters when it comes to stamina all right now uh for your strength all you need on the center this year is 90 strength 99 strength is a scam bro i'm telling you a lot of centers was like oh we, we want to try this hall of fame brick wall hall of fame brick wall might be hidden that shit's a scam defense is too op this year you can either you can go under the screen and, and through the screen very very easy lockdowns can in this game so the most i'll say go 90 it's 90 strength if you go anything above that you're basically wasting your time all right um acceleration acceleration doesn't matter for centers as y'all are not going to be dribbling so all you need is really a 67 acceleration and then speed 80 this this build i actually like it better than a lot of the center builds because you get 80 speed most centers get 78 or 79 speed and it just makes you slow playing up down or hedge defense you feel me y'all remember in 2k 20 21 we had 90 set speed centers bro moving like getting up and down the court real quick 80 speed is nice you feel me compared to 78 is nice all right so i went with the 80 speed on this we went with the 94 uh defensive rebound rebounding this year it's really all about positioning it's not even really all about how high your rebounding is if you're in the right position you got box out or if you're in the right position you warm somebody 
you're gonna get the rebound okay it doesn't it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying if you have 99 rebound night or anything like that 94 uh off defensive rebound for this build with having you're gonna be a knockdown shooter is nice okay that i wish i could get 99 defensive rebound but if we wanted the tracy mcgrady base on this on this uh build you have to have at least a 74 wingspan you can't go 76 wingspan and get tracy mcgrady base so that's why we just we max out our uh defensive rebound on 94 and we still get rebound chaser on gold pogo stick gold and box out beast on hall of fame okay so we're gonna be all good getting rebounds uh def offensive rebound 82 offensive rebound this year is not really a big strong point that you need unless you're playing comp uh pro am if you're playing comp pro am and you're at the center position yes you want a 99 rebound but this year if you're playing just stage regular stage comp stage like i said it's all about positioning all you really need you don't really need to have that high of a offensive rebound and you will be totally fine 82 is well well off enough most centers in the in the stage go 82 to 84 they don't really go high on their offensive rebound because they really seen it wasn't needed because defensive rebound is way more overpowered than offensive rebound this year just by far all right and then for the block we went with an 87 overall block 87 overall block for the gold chase down and then the gold pogo stick and we get anchor bar anchor is going to actually go up to silver we just haven't added it yet uh for this build we didn't go 95 still we went 91 still you still get op steals it's just not going to be as consistent as 95 still 95 still is completely broken and you get the hall of fame interceptor you feel me hall of fame interceptor is big playing in the stage but you can get away with going on gold like i said you're like you sacrifice some stuff on this build to get the tracy mcgrady jump shot which is going to make you a knockdown spot up shooter you feel me knockdown spot up shooter um perimeter defense you went 87 we went 87 um 87 perimeter defense is going to get you clamps ankle braces challenger pig dodger you feel me really the important badges here is going to be the challenger on gold workhorse get the loose balls if you get a pluck steal and y'all are fighting for the ball you're gonna get it over the, the person you're fighting for and then the challenger just in case you got a guard to iso uh, I, the guard like you switch with your lock and the guard's trying to iso and you can guard the guard you feel me this is gonna be big for you right here okay 87 overall perimeter defense really really nice on the center all right now for the interior defense 74 for the post move lockdown and the anchor on uh we get anchor on silver with uh with 72 interior defense but post move lockdown is going to help you just in case you happen to go against a weirdo if you're playing park uh a post score or anything like that you can you feel me you're gonna have some strength and you're gonna have post move lockdown to help you out if you're going against a seven foot one weirdo post score trying to bully you the whole game all right pass accuracy we went with a 75 overall pass accuracy i really wanted to get 77 on this build but like i said we had to sacrifice a lot for the tracy mcgrady jump shot you feel me? I mean, you if you go down to like your three-pointer or 77, you still can get Tracy McGrady jump shot. And you could probably get the 77 pass accuracy for needle threader. But 75 will do you well enough. 75 will do you well enough. You get silver break starter so you can throw them up court passes off the off the uh if you get an offensive uh I mean a defensive rebound, you can throw them and your uh center is already uh break starting, running up the court. You can throw them outlet passes if you got to, and you still get dimer on silver. All right, you just don't get needle threader, which is a it's a, it's, a, it's a nice badge needle threader stuns your defenders whenever stuns the defender if they're ball watching like say if you dot the corner as a center like you make a one-two pass your guard passes to you in the paint the guard uh guarding your lockdown in the corner runs down to try and get a contest on you you make that one-two pass to your lockdown in the corner it, it, it that dimer is going to help and that needle threader because that needle threader is going to stun the defender the defender that's supposed to be defending your lockdown all right but we're going to go ahead and put this back up to 80 I mean, like i said it's all your personal preference i only just come here to lay out the template of the build for y'all y'all switch y'all like should remake the build to y'all play style i say that every time i make a build video all right standing dunk we went with an 83 84 actually 84 overall standing dunk for the aerial wizard on uh gold just in case we want to get any putbacks or to the rim like say your guard misses and you run into the rim you're gonna get a putback dunk you feel me putback dunk or and we're gonna get precision dunker fast switch and rise up if you know how to standing dunk in this game using standing dunk meter if you don't go look at joe knows video he tells you how to do op standing dunks in this game and with precision dunker the higher it is and rise up the easier it is to time your standing dunk all right but regular standing dunks where you just hold an r2 and square are the meta this year and fast switch speeds up your standing dunk which i really don't feel like it does like i kind of feel like it's a useless badge but rise up rise up makes it easier for you dunk, to dunk under the basket especially over smaller defenders or smaller like if the lockdown comes under there and or the the guard you're gonna dunk on them fairly easy 
You feel me? And standing dunk is the meta this year. Driving dunk has been kind of nerfed to the driving dunk compared to last year has been nerfed to the ground. But if you know how to standing dunk meter, driving dunk is really nice. And it is nice to have high driving dunk if you know how to do the standing dunk meter cheese that Joe knows has like been expressing. But for the comp stage, regular stage, park and pro-am, if you want to be OP, you really don't need to have driving dunk that high. You, all you're really good because your guard's going to be scoring most of the time. You're either going to be popping for him and shooting off the pop. Or if you just, if you do have a wide open lane, then you can go to take a dunk. All you're going to really need is a 70 overall driving dunk to take any of the safe dunks. And you could do that with a 70 driving dunk. You get good dunks with a 70 overall driving dunk. You get the Dwight Howard dunk, some other ones, and that's really all you need. But let me see right here if you can get the 77 pass accuracy. Oh, no. I don't think so. Well, let me see. No, I don't think we can actually. I don't think we can. We'd have to take something else down. <clears throat> 77 pass accuracy big, but let's go with the 80. Take this down. 75 will do you enough justice. Oh, not 70. I didn't even have we want 84 for the area. And this is the second best comp stage lockdown build on NBA 2K24. You feel me? Let me just go ahead and raise that up. Raise it up. Alright. Make sure y'all like the video. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. If you mama subscribe if you're new. Like I said, I gave y'all three other center builds in my top three center builds for beginners. This one right here is really just for my comp stage, right? Stage heads that want to be playing stage, want to be glitchy in the stage, and all that. Alright, stage in park. Pro 3v3 pro am wreck. No, not wreck. Not wreck. Not not playing the center position, but you feel me? Y'all y'all get it. Let's get into the absolute best center build, comp stage center build on NBA 2K24. Alright, y'all. For this next and the best center build on the list, it's gonna be more of defensive. And like I said, I I, I basically gave this build to y'all already in the other other um the top three best center builds uh for beginners that I dropped. But I made a few changes that I made a, a, a slight change to it that I seen y'all was having problems with. OK, I, I made a slight change that I seen y'all was having problems. With. All right. So I went to I went 271 pounds, 68, 271. And we went with the 75 wingspan in the first in the video I gave y'all like a week ago or two weeks ago. I went seven, six wingspan. You know what I'm saying? It's nice to have a max wingspan to grab the boards and you know what I'm saying? And all that. But for this, I seen y'all have a problem and wingspan isn't really going to be play too much a different part like i said if you're in the right position you're going to get the rebound over the other center when it comes to getting a defensive rebound if you're in the right position and you're not boxed out you're going to get the board or even if you worm who, the lockdown or guard that's boxing you out you're going to get the board okay because 99 rebound does way more wonders than 90 than offensive rebound okay so for this build all right this is the tweaks because this is the build i just gave y'all okay this is the tweaks you want to do okay <laughs> you want to go either 81 standing dunk still gonna get you your rise up you feel me so you can still standing dunk under the basket heavy you want to take your driving dunk down have it at a 60 60 overall driving dunk is really good still you still get really good safe dunk animations 40 overall driving layup um 46 uh 46 close shot like i said you're not going to be able to get the tracy mcgrady base on this but you can definitely get the ben shepherd really okay and Ben Shepard, I'm pretty sure you need 79 overall three pointer. 79 overall three pointer. Let me let me check on 2K Labs real quick and see what about the Ben Shepard. Okay, yeah, I'm checking on 2K Labs right now. You just need a 79 overall uh, three point uh, three pointer or mid range to get the Ben Shepard release, and we are going to have that. Okay, 79 overall is nice. All right, I'm actually, I, I'm I probably will actually tweak this build. I'm actually gonna tweak this build as we go right now because I feel like if we put an 82 mid range. And we go with the 78.3, we will be fine. We'll be fine. Let me see. Let me see if I went 82 mid range. 82 mid range. We took the standing dunk down to 73. Because standing dunk, you still get really good standing dunk animation with the 72 overall mid range. <clears throat> Let me show y'all the traditional way I'm going to make it first. And then I'm going to give y'all the tweak way that I'm thinking about making right, right now. Okay. <clears throat> The way I have my build is 78 overall three. You feel me? I, I'm completely fine like that. I use JT Thor base with a 78 overall three. JT Thor, Oscar Robertson, Speak base, 6040. That's why them releases, I love them releases. Most releases y'all see me use, I stick with them. But let me show y'all how I made it, okay? I'm gonna show y'all how, how I made it first. All right, so we went with a 79 three-pointer so we can get the Ben Shepard release. Like I said, Ben Shepard, Oscar Robertson, Oscar Robertson, max speed if you want to, or Ben Shepard, Oscar Robertson, Speak base, 6040, push a release. 
max D. Okay. Um, we went with the 77 overall pass accuracy so we can get that needle threader. Like I explained to you about the pass accuracy on the build before. You know what I'm saying? 77 pass accuracy is good enough for my stage players, comp stage centers, uh, park centers. But you don't need 90 pass accuracy unless you're playing wreck. 92 pass accuracy centers is only for the wreck or pro am, comp pro am. Okay. 5v5 pro am. So 42 overall ball handle, uh, speed 30. Okay. 74 overall interior defense, leave that there. Leave 87 overall perimeter defense, leave that there. Just like the last build. But this build, we went with the 95 overall steel. That's what makes this build OP, the, the interceptor. You feel me? And with a 95 steel, if it, it feels like you got... Uh, 95 steel is basically like having gold glove on Hall of Fame. Okay? 99 steel was a scam. 99 steel was a scam. But having 95 steel is basically like having 99 steel. Okay, you won't even need 99 steel if you go 95 steel, and you get that interceptor. Okay, that's the only difference between 91 and 95. 95, you just get like, I'd say the the steal rate completion is just like boosted like 20 percent or 10 percent, 10 to 50, 20 percent around there. All right, uh, block 87 overall block for this build. Um, offensive rebound leave that at 83. This build you get a 99 uh defensive rebound though so we get that box out beast on hall of fame and the rebound chaser hall of fame so we're gonna basically be like an inside center but an outside center at the same time because we have a 79 three all right and i'm telling you ben shepherd release i mean base that's why i use on my six sticks if i'm not using tracy mcgrady or any of my builds that can't get a uh, tracy mcgrady base ben shepherd is my go-to jump shot that was my jump shot at the beginning of the year then i tested out tracy love tracy but Ben Shepard is like what I, I I don't know I'm I'm kind of interchangeable I like Tracy for because you can hit more contested shots with Tracy but I'm more consistent with Ben Shepard that's how I have to put that all right <clears throat> but 78 overall speed leave that how it is 66 acceleration 90 strength uh 80 vertical and really we went with a 96 speed but you can go ahead and go max out your speed at a 93 oh no because we did this that's what we did oh no. Um, 99, 83, 87, 95, 87, 74, 74. We had, we actually had our standing dunk at an 81. Hold on, I got something wrong somewhere. Oh, this is a 40 stick. We can even take this even lower. We don't even need it at a 40. Oh yeah, we do because we're gonna raise up our standing. Uh, 46. We need 81 standing. Oh, something somewhere is wrong. Oh, 29. All right, 81 standing dunk. There, that's going to get us our rise up and a lot of good standing dunk animations. Like a lot of the good standing dunk animations, you need either an 80 or 83 standing dunk. You feel me? Or 85, but 81 is good enough. And that rise up is big. It's going to help you dunk over, dunk while you're under the basket. And like I said, if you know how to standing dunk meter, it's going to make you super OP. All right. Now, let me right now give y'all like a little tweak. Let me see if I can give y'all a little tweak version. Let me see if I can add some sauce. Say we go to 78 overall three if you really don't care about the interceptor being that high you can make this build up you can take this down to 91 go with the 91 glove i'm telling you if you want to make you want to make it more offensively op than defensively because steals is not like you're going to get steals just 100 percent you feel me it's not like the, the, the even with gold glove you're going to get steel 100 percent a lot of these guards know how to maneuver against steel especially in the comp state so 91 still can do you enough justice so if you wanted to do this like this <clears throat> go with the 82 mid-range. I think we can get the 82. Hold on. We need to take something down. Something down. Um, Because 82 is going to get you... Let me see what we can take down. Okay, we got we got this right here. Yo. Get you this catch and shoot. If you want to do it this way, Fuego, you're going to shoot better. Okay? You can get Ben Shepard release and a lot of other great releases in the game. Catch and shoot gold. Guard up gold gonna help you knock down them shots especially over defenders really well all right so if you want to go this way i advise you to do that if you don't think you're just gonna be a knockdown shooter okay if you don't think you're gonna be a knockdown shooter go like this right all right and you're gonna be completely fine all right but i gave y'all two versions of this build right here then i gave y'all the the second best uh center build on nba 2k24 all right so make sure i like the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment if lay your mama subscribe if you are new let me know what else y'all want to see me drop below what dribble sigs like me playing the 1v1 theater I, i'm about to drop up some 1v1 theater gameplay and uh 
any other builds y'all need i'm about to do small forwards next because i haven't done small forwards yet so i'm gonna do the top three small forwards builds either tomorrow or the next day yeah probably tomorrow because i but when the season drops i'm gonna be dropping my dribble sticks and all that probably tomorrow i'm gonna drop the top three small forward builds on nba 2k20 all right appreciate larry so many y'all make sure i like up the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment leave your mama subscribe if you're new 68k is on the way make sure you hit that sub button be your boy everybody's favorite uncle on youtube uncle hk